Do you suffer from noisy brakes? How about ugly rotors? How about the old lot, lot rot? Okay, all jokes aside, today I'm going to show you a very helpful tip you can implement into your EV lifestyle. So if you have a new Kia EV like the EV9 for example, or maybe even the redesigned Kia Nero, there's a button you can press and hold to enter brake disc cleaning mode. This allows you to rub that rust off your brakes after it's been sitting for a while, maybe you got the old lot rot like me and Charlotte joked about earlier, or maybe you just maximize your regen and hardly ever use your real brakes. But on the other hand, there's vehicles like the Kia EV6, the Hyundai Ioniq 5 that don't have this button for a shortcut. However, this feature is still totally usable. I'm gonna show you how you can utilize it in both types of vehicles. Let's get into it. Now you may be asking yourself, Gabby, my Kia or Hyundai EV is very new. Why would I have to clean my brakes? I wouldn't have to do that on a gas car. And the answer is you're right. But on a gas car, are you able to not use your brakes ever? That's something you can do in an EV. So essentially why you'd be needing to clean your disc brakes is because this vehicle is largely going to use regenerative braking, also depending on how you drive. If you're someone who is always on max regen or one pedal driving, chances are you haven't touched your brakes in a while and this is how you can turn off all of your regenerative braking so your vehicle is actually utilizing its mechanical or friction brakes. So on the above or earlier vehicles that I've mentioned, all of them are equipped with this easy shortcut. So you're going to go to your auto hold button. Depending on what type of car you have, it may be located in a different area, but the button is largely going to look like this. Press and hold it for about three to four seconds and pay attention to our dash screen over here. We now have a notification saying brake disc cleaning on. What does that mean? Exactly what I said earlier. It's going to turn off all systems of regen and allow the vehicle to go through 10 mechanical braking cycles. So that is going to allow you to clean, not turn off, but clean temporary rust and debris off your brake discs and allow you to utilize more of your brakes. So extend your braking lifespan. This is not going to damage your brakes because again, in a gasoline car, you would have been using them anyway. So now let's talk about how you can do it on a car that does not have this easy shortcut. So right now I'm still again in the EV9, but I'm going to show you how you can change it on vehicles that don't have that easy shortcut. And it's still easy guys. So first things first, you want to get to your steering wheel. And if you've been driving your EV for a while, you're probably used to your paddle shifters and what they do. Essentially the one on the right is going to be a decrease in your amount of regen. And as you can see on our gauge right over here, we're currently at our max amount of regen or I pedal. I'm going to now press my right paddle shifter down, down, down until I get to level zero. Once it's at level zero, the vehicle does still utilize a little bit of regen braking under normal driving circumstances. However, if you are doing a hard braking cycle with this, it is going to know that it is in brake disc cleaning mode. You're not going to get a notification like you would in our vehicles that do have the auto hold shortcut, but nonetheless, this vehicle will still utilize its friction or mechanical brakes. And again, like I said earlier, this is not bad for your car. This is a normal operation. This vehicle is meant to use a conjunction of its mechanical braking and its regenerative braking. Again, if you want to know more about regen braking, we have done a video on it, so check that out. But in the meantime, Charlotte's got some helpful tips. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. I've got an EV, so no oil, no oil changes and now no brake maintenance service. Now that is not what this video is telling you. You still will need to come and visit your local service department to get your brakes checked out because that is going to be the biggest service requirement for your EV is making sure that they are still clean. Now, as Gabby mentioned, the brake disc cleaning mode is going to still clean up those discs, but make sure that you're still coming in, getting your yearly brake maintenance service to make sure that everything is still lubricated properly because that's what this brake disc cleaning mode is not going to do. It may get rid of but it's still not going to lubricate up your slider pins and everything like that. So make sure that you're still utilizing your best maintenance tips for your EV.